What am I going to use for a brooder for these chicks? Last time I used Rubbermaid tubs and it was too much of a hassle. This time I came across this refrigerator. Or maybe it's a freezer. Looks more like a freezer. The one I wanted was at the dump two weeks ago. It was a little shorter than this and had a door. But I was sick again and I just couldn't go back to get it. This time I picked this one here. It's funny because this was here, this was there two weeks ago. Somebody took the door. And my plans for this are such. First, I'm going to get gauges on the compressor and make sure there isn't any gas in here. If there's gas in here, I have to take it to a spot to have them purge the gas. Once that's done, I'll be taking the compressor out. I'll be taking these coils out. And I want to cut it on the bottom. I want to make a sliding tray just like the bird cages, where the droppings will go to the bottom and I can slide it out to clean. Because these chicks make a mess. I learned my lesson the last time. And the reason I wanted to go with a refrigerator or a freezer is because I want to keep them in my garage. And we're in April right now, and the weather. We'll have a 50 degree day and we'll have a 16 degree day. I want to keep them in the garage. I would have liked to have the lid, but I have plywood and I have styrofoam I can make a lid for. And the, this has coils in the back. I plan on using those coils from the back as a floor. So their droppings will go through and they're not stepping on it. I might even use some of these over here. But when I take them out, I have to make sure there isn't any oil in here. Maybe I could just squeeze them and solder them, make sure nothing leaks out. But that's what my plans are. This I'm going to post under Josie's Chickens and also Trash Your Treasure. So if I could do what I want with this, it'll be your treasure. If not, it'll be trash going back to the dump. And as another bonus, this sliding table is there today. Now... Usually something like this, somebody would have claimed it, but I asked around, nobody claimed it. So what I might do, instead of having this on the ground, I might have this up on here. It's got wheels, and the wheels even have locks. Can't beat that. For now, that's it. I'm going to check this cooler. i got to stand it upright. And if it doesn't have a valve to check, which a lot of them don't, I have to put a saddle valve on it to check to see if there's gas in there. And like I said, if there's gas in there, I got to bring it to get recycled. But a lot of times when these coolers end up at the dump, they either, they either leak gas already or sometimes it could be just something electrical. Who knows, this might have worked with just a minor thermostat replacement or control on the thermostat. But for the price of these coolers and to pay somebody to come out and get it, unfortunately, sometimes it's just cheaper to go buy a new one. Enough rambling. Let me get started on this, and when I get it all cleaned out and whatnot, I'll be back. Well, it's been some time since I cut up this uh, freezer unit to make it into a brooder. But we received our baby chicks last week, and today is Wednesday. We received them on a Tuesday. They hatched on a Monday. Today is Wednesday, so it's a week and one day. We kept them in a big box all week. We changed their litter from time to time. But now we have this brooder. I had this outside in the sun all day. It's nice and warm. I had a bag of these uh, wood chips outside and they're warm. Johnny's gonna take our baby chicks and put them in here. And this will be their new home for the next couple of weeks. Put them by the light, John, there you go. Okay, I have the wood chips and I put some paper in here. Um, don't know if it's necessary. I put it in here because that's what we were using in the box. They're familiar with the paper. Now the bottom, I put pieces of cardboard, some of the shredded newspaper, and then the wood chips. So when I got to clean it out, I could just scoop it up. During the day, we've been getting warm days, anywhere from 70 to 80 something degrees. At night, it's been dropping into the 50s and 60s. These chicks are going to have to be in for a while before I can put them outside. But as soon as they get their feathers, you can see this guy here, she's getting her feathers. But as soon as they get their feathers, they lose this down, they're going out. I made the mistake uh, a couple of years back, I kept chickens down here in the spare room I have. I had them covered, 
And let me tell you, it was months, and I was still getting the uh, down out of that out of this room. And we're not going through that again. Okay, I gotta get some more feed. You can see everything's DIY. This is a box that I made a feeder out of. I'm using this coffee can. If you're doing something like this, you gotta be careful when they're small. Uh, you can put pebbles in there. You can put pebbles, rocks, marbles. I put this grate in here. Because when they're small, they can get in that water and drown. Now that they're a week old, I don't think I have that problem. But I saw the grate. You can see they're a little chilly now. I had the light out of the box for a while in there. I had it congregating all around this uh, light. They came from pretty colors. Look at this. We have a little silky in here. She's not part of this flock. But the gentleman that uh, hatched them for me, he had one of his silkies and he had a couple of eggs from the silkies and he put one in there just to see if it would hatch and it did. She's a little tough one. She gets pushed around quite a bit. The other ones are so much larger than her. And when they go for the food, they just knock them all over the place. Well, that's it for now. Got to put some food in that feeder. I got to put the top screen on here, cover it up to keep the heat in. And these guys will be good. Okay, go find it, John. What's nice about using this uh, freezer for a brooder, it's all plastic, easy to clean. The press is out of here. But I left the wire in here. I was thinking about putting a thermostat in here and rigging it up. But I'll just leave this light on because if it gets too warm, this is big enough for them to come over to the other side. Well, these wood chips are new for them. They're not used to this. Okay, that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, let me know. Give it a like. If you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to post them in the comment section down below. And until next time, stay well.